Hello, my name is Mitchell Black, and welcome to video three of four, uh, getting ready for the Paleo Challenge through Strong Side. Uh, so, like I said, this is the third video out of four. Our Paleo Challenge is a 30-day Paleo Challenge that starts January 18th. Registration is free. Uh, you sign up at thestrongside.com, which is at the bottom of this page. You can sign up for a seven-day pass to try out our gym, or uh, you can go to the uh, nutrition tab and sign up for my email, which is bodiesbymitch at gmail.com, and sign up for the paleo challenge. So today, I want to talk about paleo and, and cholesterol, because cholesterol kind of gets a bad rap, and there's a lot of myths about cholesterol that I want to go over, and uh, make sure that we're all set. Because in paleo, we eat a lot of meats and all that, and everybody has a lot of questions on, um, on you know, eating cholesterol, for example. So why the bad rap? So when we look at HDL and LDL, uh, those are just two types of cholesterol, but everybody sees HDL is the good cholesterol, LDL is the bad cholesterol, and it gets this bad rap that we're not supposed to have cholesterol. And, and that's a different story as to where that came from. But I want to be clear that your body uh, makes cholesterol in the liver, and it wouldn't make something that killed itself. And cholesterol is used in every cell in the body. It's used to metabolize vitamin D. It's used for energy and cell production and to reheal cells and a laundry list of other things. But your body makes cholesterol, and it wouldn't make anything that killed itself. So first off, let's talk a little bit about um, inside the bloodstream. You have these red blood cells, and they transport this uh, protein called hemoglobin. And uh, that transports the oxygen through your cells. And then also in the bloodstream, you have cholesterol. And, and these things work together. And what a lot of people think happens is that if you eat cholesterol, it just automatically builds up and it starts clogging the arteries. And you get this thing called atherosclerosis. Um, you can get coronary heart disease, which is where the veins around the heart build up with plaque. And the heart can't supply itself with oxygen. So it has a myocardial infraction or a heart attack. Um, and... Yeah, all that stuff happens from cholesterol, but it doesn't happen because you eat cholesterol. So first off, what is cholesterol? Um, a lot of people think we just have one type of cholesterol. You have a ton of different types of cholesterol. You have low-density lipoprotein. You have high-density lipoprotein. This is probably what you've heard about. You have intermediate-density lipoprotein, and you have very low-density lipoprotein. Um, the commonality... Uh, between all these is that they're all lipoproteins. At this point, we're not even really talking about cholesterol. We're talking about lipoproteins, which is a compound of a lipid, which is a fat, and a protein. So really, the type of lipid and the type of protein is what makes up the different types of cholesterol. Not all cholesterol is bad. Not all cholesterol is good. It depends on what it's made up of. But note that we're talking about lipids and proteins. So this is really what I want to spend the most amount of time on, how cholesterol works. What happens is it kind of, your arteries break down, just kind of like if you got a uh, rock thrown into your windshield, as you can see here on this picture. And this happens from exercise, from stress, from anything. I mean, your kids are screaming, uh, maybe you hurt your foot, uh, you're doing CrossFit, or you're working out really hard, whatever it is, and you're starting to break down those arteries. And that, that's normal. That's supposed to happen. And what's supposed to happen is that you break down the arteries a little bit and then your cholesterol comes in to fix those cracks. So LDL, the low density lipoprotein, which gets a really bad rap, is kind of like uh, this glue or bond or whatever's in this picture. It goes into that crack and it fixes that crack and, it, and uh, it's supposed to make it look like this after picture here. But what happens is LDL is made um, um, is made from, uh, um, I'm sorry, so LDL, I lost my train of thought, I'm sorry, LDL gets made, and it, it heals the uh, artery walls, and then HDL, which is the good cholesterol, comes and picks it up and carries it away, all right, um, but what happens a lot of times is we don't make enough good cholesterol. Everybody's HDL is really low, so cholesterol gets a bad rap because the LDL is not high enough uh, I'm sorry, it's too high, and the HDL is lower than it's supposed to be. And we're going to talk about why that is in a second, but if the good cholesterol is really low and the bad cholesterol is really high, yeah, your arteries are going to start looking something like this. And you're probably going to get arthrosclerosis, uh, you're going to have all the bad 
uh, things coming from cholesterol and you're going to have a lot of bad wraps from cholesterol. And that's what we, what we don't want. We want your windshield or your arteries to be healed up correctly. So the truth about cholesterol, we already talked about, you have several different types of cholesterol. Um, you can talk about particle size, HDL, A and B, um, whether it's soft, whether it's hard, um, what's the difference between a 0.19 particle size and a 0.22 particle size of the cholesterol. I mean, cholesterol really gets broken down. So it's not as simple as just eating cholesterol. The difference, though, is what's in the cholesterol. So if we look at this blue lining here, your cholesterol is not actually blue, but for the sake of the picture, um, so all that's the same. It's what's inside the cholesterol, that goop inside there, is what makes the cholesterol good, bad, okay, whatever. And when you eat good amounts of fats and healthy fats uh, and proteins and animal meats, you make that good HDL cholesterol. The low-density lipoprotein, the quote-unquote bad cholesterol, is made from sugars and starches. So it depends on what you pack the cholesterol with. Eating cholesterol doesn't elevate your cholesterol. It's the other types of foods like starches, grains, and sugars that elevate the bad cholesterol and not eating fats and all the good stuff and proteins is what doesn't produce good cholesterol. So that's how you elevate or uh, decrease the cholesterol in your body. It's not simply just by going, oh, eggs have cholesterol, I'm not going to eat eggs. It's not the eggs that give you high cholesterol, it's the bagel that you eat it with that gives you bad high cholesterol. So the American travesty really and where we get this wrap from is this is, uh, so this graph here shows you that we are eating less red meat, we're eating less beef and veal, we're trying to cut out the cholesterol in our bodies. And this is, this is global, so we look at China here from the about 1987 to 2010, we see a decrease in red meats. And I say red meats because they red meats have a lot of cholesterol in them. Um, Europe is decreasing as well. The entire world has decreased, but America is leading the way. So America eats less cholesterol, less red meats. We have the smallest amount of cholesterol diets in the world. However, we have the highest amount of carbohydrate increase in the, in the world. So from 1960 to 2000, you can see a huge increase in carbohydrates in the diet, really taken off around the mid-1980s. And then with that, if we look at America, we see an increase in high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and diabetes, all from this. So it's not that we're eating more cholesterol, it's that we're eating more carbohydrates, grains, and sugars to pack the cholesterol full of stuff. Because cholesterol, those li li lipids and proteins, are just vessels. And they're going to carry whatever you feed it. And if you feed the body carbs and, and uh, sugars, it's going to start elevating the bad cholesterol of the LDL. And then when we look at the paleo diet, yes, we might eat more actual cholesterol, but you're not eating any of the bad stuff. You're eating all the good fats and good proteins that elevate the good cholesterol, the HDL. And remember, the LDL, that quote-unquote bad cholesterol, is what fixes the arteries when they get broke down. The HDL, the quote-unquote good cholesterol, is what goes in there and carries it away and doesn't allow it to build up on the arteries. So you need them, but remember, HDL is only made through fats and proteins, so you're going to need that fat to elevate the good cholesterol. Um, like I said, uh, you, you can sign up for a seven-day pass on our website at thestrongside.com. Um, you can also email me at bodiesbymitch at gmail.com, and uh, you can sign up for the Paleo Challenge, which is free. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this video. This is video three of four on paleo of choles uh, and cholesterol. We'll post the fourth one before we get going on December, uh, January 18th, and we hope to have you there. Thank you.